Welcome back guys. This is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to solve the problem Floyd, City of Blinding Lights. Given a directed uh, weighted graph where weight indicates uh, distance for each query, determine the length of the shortest uh, path between nodes. There may be many queries, so efficiency counts. So we have to generate a, a distance graph from uh, one node to all the other nodes. Like we have to do it for uh, uh, all the nodes, like uh, for one every nodes. So we are going to implement a Floyd Warshall algorithm, and this would uh, compute all the distance vectors in a matrix. So we can easily uh, get the distance and uh, return it for each query. So that's how we are going to do. And uh, let's see the example now. We have like five nodes, and everything is like a directed uh, graph. A few queries are uh, from node 4 to 3, node 2 to 5, and uh, node 5 to 3. So there are uh, two paths from 4 to 3. So here it can go in the in this route or it can go through 5. So there are uh, two routes. We have to find the minimum uh, distance. So if you say here, you can uh, see they are calculating the distance. 4 plus 5 plus 1, it's 10, 4 plus 3 plus 2, it's 9. So it will choose the path 2. So we just have to uh, return the distance 9. And uh, here you can see from uh, 2 to 5, 2 to 5, there is no uh, path uh, because this is a directed graph. So we have to return uh, minus 1. And uh, here for uh, 5 to 3, so 5 to 3, there is only one path uh, that is 2. So we'll be returning two. So that's how the problem works. Uh, we also see the constraints. So here uh, the number of nodes is around uh, 400 and here also the number of edges is uh, uh, sum of n minus uh, one numbers. So there are like so many edges and we have to compute the Floyd Warshall and uh, we have uh, 10 to the power of five queries. So we have to do the computation first and later on uh, we can answer all the queries. That's how we are going to do. And here they are saying uh, the distance from a node to itself is always zero and it's always uh, reachable from itself. So if you say uh, how much it takes to go to the same uh, node, uh, it's like uh, four and four. If you want to reach four, it's zero. So that is the uh, node they have mentioned. If there are edges between the same pair of nodes with different weights, the last one most recent is to be considered as the only edge between them. So we have to consider only the uh, recent edge, not from the previous. So that is also other thing. So there will be duplicates, but we have to consider the most recent one. So that is the constraints. Now let's see the sample input. So here, this is our input. Let's see the query here, one and two. So one and two is five. There is a direct path and uh, three and one, three and one, there is no path. So it is minus one. 1 and 4. So for 1 and 4, we have a direct edge 24, but uh, we have an indirected uh, path also that is 5 plus 6 is 11. So we will return 11. That's how the query uh, results work. So we have to create a distance matrix uh, uh, for all the edges. Sorry, we have to create a distance matrix for all the nodes and uh, return the corresponding distances for each query. Now here there is like no functions at all. Uh, they just uh, left uh, as it is uh, for the main function. We will just uh, remove this because this is not the efficient one. Remove the whole thing. Now we will start from scratch. I think we can remove this also. Why bother? Now n comma m. So that is the first line equals map in comma input input dot split and after that we will create the graph so this graph is like a distance graph create distance graph so i'll just call it as graph equals a list a list so here i'm going to initialize with math dot infinity so you can use this infinity or sys size, but uh, when I tried this problem, it's showing a uh, uh, timeout if I use sys.max size. That's why I'm using uh, math.infinity. 
Now here we have to use a loop for i in range of n plus 1. Again, this is a one based indexing. That's why I'm using n plus 1. So now we have uh, created the distance graph. After that, we have to get all these uh, edges with the corresponding weights. So for that, for underscore in range of m. So here, update weights in the graph. This is distance graph. So I'm just mentioning. Maybe we can also say it as dist graph. Dist graph, it will be easier. First, we have to get the input, right? So x, y, w. Again, map of int input dot split. So that's done. After that, we will update. That will be dist graph of x and uh, y equals w. So this is a directed graph. That's why we are just updating only one time. So this is done. And after that, they have mentioned as the distance from a node to itself is always zero. So we have to update the distance for the diagonal of the matrix. So diagonal of the matrix will be like each node pointing to each other. So for that, update uh, diagonal diagonal of the dist matrix or distance matrix to zero. node to itself okay now for i in range of 1 comma n plus 1 now graph of i and i equals w no not w it's 0 so this is the updating of diagonal uh, in the distance uh, matrix so that is done after that, we will go to the main logic. This is the floyd warshall algorithm. For k in range of, you have to do the looping for three times. So range of 1 comma n plus 1. Now for i in range of the same. For j in range of, again the same. Now the formula, just leave some space. Update minimum distance, minimum distance. So this formula is almost equal to a Digixtra algorithm. We can also solve this using Digixtra, but this is the Floyd Washel. I just wanna cover this algorithm. Graph of I, and uh, j equals minimum of okay this is distance graph just forgetting now this uh, graph of i comma j so this is the existing one and uh, this is the new one this graph of i k plus again dist graph of k and j. So it's just uh, comparing uh, with the current uh, distance, with the new distance, uh, similar to what we have done in uh, Digixtra. So here, if you consider uh, this one, like one to four, the current will be like 24, but uh, the new one will be five plus six. So that will be the minimum and uh, the minimum will be updated to this path. So let's say one comma four means uh, this will be updated like that. So this is the whole logic of uh, Floyd Warshall. This is just uh, the time complexity will be higher because this is like n cube. Uh, that is the time complexity of uh, Floyd Warshall. I'll also mention it as Floyd Warshall. Okay, Floyd Marshall, Marshall, 
algorithm okay so computation has been done now we have to go for the query so q equals int of input and after that for the score in range of q x comma y equals map int input dot split split now we will check if graph of x and uh, y again this is dist graph equals math dot infinity let's say if it is infinity means uh, there is no distance available we will just uh, print minus 1 else we will return the absolute distance so print of dist graph of x and y so that is done so this is the whole logic of this algorithm we just uh, done like few initialization this is for updating the weight this is for updating the diagonals and uh, this is for returning the query and uh, this is the whole logic similar to our uh, digixtra if you didn't uh, see uh, how to do our digixtra algorithm and how it works means just watch the previous video it will be helpful and uh, that's it guys uh, this is the whole logic if you have uh, anything other than this so please leave a comment below Apart from that, if you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos. See you guys with a new video.